so thirsty. What's this? A bottle of bourbon that looks like a lamp. Genie! Thank you for freeing me. I've been trapped in this weirdly shaped bottle for two weeks now. I can give you three wishes. The first wish, a Manhattan. <laughs> so Manhattans are one of the more simple cocktails that you can make. It's only got three ingredients. You need whiskey, sweet vermouth, and Angostura bitters. Uh, first, you're going to take two ounces of your whiskey, then you can take one ounce of your sweet vermouth, and then you do two dashes of the Angostura bitters. Put that all over ice and, and stir it until it's nice and chilled, and then stir it into your glass and garnish it with a cherry. All right, so this is a Manhattan, and I'm gonna get my friend Sarah to describe how it tastes. Sarah isn't a big drinker, and this is all alcohol, so I'm excited to, to see what she describes it as. I'm stressed. It's okay. The mic. <laughs> made, up, made me a face. I would not say it's my favorite drink. drink. What does it taste like? Um, alcohol. Right. Any any deeper notes? Third sip. <laughs> chug it. <laughs> Don't chug it. Don't do that. Awesome! That's a Sarah's tasting notes, everybody. <laughs> All right. So with the Manhattan, uh, what I like about it is that I think that whiskey goes really well with the vermouth. Like you do get that that like touch of sweet from the sweet vermouth, but you, it pairs really well with kind of the caramelly vanilla notes from the bourbon. And then the best part about it is that um, the, there's just a cherry, and it's the best thing ever. Do you want to eat the cherry? I do actually. Okay. That sounds a lot That'll... more appetizing. <laughs> feed it I'm not gonna feed it. You feed can it you can take it off the spoon. Is there a pit inside no, of it? No, there's not a pit inside of it. How's the cherry? Significantly better. Awesome. 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> we love cherries. All right, all right, get out of here. That's a, that's a take. So, uh, that's your first wish. What do you think? Based on her reaction, I don't know if I'm sold. Give me a John Collins. All right. So the next cocktail we're doing is actually called a John Collins. For that, you're gonna need whiskey, lemon juice, simple syrup, club soda, and some cherries and orange slices for a garnish. We're gonna build this cocktail in the glass. So you're gonna take your one and a half ounces of whiskey, your one ounce of lemon juice, half ounce of simple syrup, and your club soda, and put it all in the glass over ice, give it one little spin or two to mix it together, and then add your garnish. All right, so yeah, this is a uh, this is John Collins. He's got orange and, and, and cherry, and that's all good. Um, let's taste it. Yeah, so that it's almost like just a watered down sour because it's essentially all the same ingredients of a whiskey sour, and then you add club soda, and then you've got a, a nice garnish. Um, there's another cherry, which are delicious. So I'm gonna just eat that real quick. Fantastic cherry. Never should buy cherries like this. It's really good. It's it's light. It's kind of a. It's super basic. Um, yeah, you could just drink a lot of these. There's nothing profound about it. That's that's all I got. Anyway, next drink. All right, so that's two of your three wishes. Uh, what do you want with your third wish? World peace, ending world hunger, getting in on GameStop while I was still four dollars a share. Well, as I've been wandering in the desert for the last three weeks, I've really missed my hometown and their harvest. Uh, give me something with blackberries and basil. It, really? Blackberries and basil? Mm -hmm. <sighs> That's what you wish. So for this next cocktail, you're going to need uh, blackberries, basil leaves, bourbon, lime juice, and a little bit of club soda. To make this drink, you're going to take about six-ish blackberries and a handful of basil leaves. Put them in the bottom of your shaker. Add half an ounce of lime juice and then muddle that all up until it's kind of this weird smoothie looking thing. It's gonna be really pulpy. And then you're gonna add one and a half ounces of your bourbon. Shake that all over ice 
And then you're gonna do a dirty dump, which is when you just pour everything that's in your shaker into the glass. Once you do that, add your club soda at the top, get a little basil leaf and blackberry to garnish it, and there you have it. So yeah, this is the uh, Triple B Blackberry Basil Bourbon, Better Business Bureau, whatever you want to call it. Um, my friend Lauren is going to try it first. Um, Lauren. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I just got to be on my tiptoes so I don't yeah, smell yeah. it. Yeah, perfect. What do, you, what do you taste? It tastes really good. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Let me think about what it tastes like. Does it like remind you of anything? What's the first? It reminds me of sort of like blackberry picking. Like it's sort of summery uh -huh. and like herby and like I'm out in nature enjoying Perfect. the summer. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Thank you. No problem. Now I'm going to, I'm going to try it. So, um, first thing is like when you go in for a sip, you, you smell the basil, which is no, you're not re really used to, to that when you're taking a drink, right? It's, it's an herb. It's really good, though. Um, the blackberry, you, you really do not taste any bourbon when you drink this. It, it's it's mostly the blackberry and it's mostly the basil. So I'm just really good at masking it. I wish I gave it to Sarah earlier because I think I was bullying with her with the Manhattan. Sarah, do you want to just come on yeah, and like just it. taste Let's it try. real quick? This is really good. You should definitely make I'm this. For this one. Try this. Mm -hmm. All right, what do you taste? Um, berries mm -hmm. and like berries. Okay, berries twice. Uh -huh. Two berries. Yeah. Two B's of the three B's. I would say it's kind of purpley. Purpley. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, that's what I got. All right, awesome. Well, awesome. See you, Summer Berry Kid. Jeannie, what are you going to do now? I, I forgot to wish for your freedom. Brian, we've been in my backyard this whole time. You mean I've been a mile from my house for the last three weeks? Yeah, we were getting kind of worried about you, but I just wanted to let you be. Huh. Well, do you have any wishes? Yeah, I wish for you all to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.